This is uh, from Nathan Schwartz. My parents have fully endorsed Joe Biden, while I'm the only Bernie Sanders supporter. I guess my parents want my future to be fucked, since they'll probably die off before climate change affects them. <laughs> um, I think uh, whoever is elected uh, in between Bernie or Joe Biden is going to have to deal with climate change. Whoever it is is going to have to deal with climate change. Be, that's just the way it is. I wouldn't worry about it. That's the least of your problems, Nathan. <laughs> it's the least of your fucking problems. Nancy Cohen, Florida's new Republican governor, has lifted the ban on the term climate change. <laughs> Look, it, it, imposed by the previous Republican governor, Rick Scott! <laughs> For use in public do documents. The, the previous governor is now a senator and voted to acquit Trump. Is this progress? Uh, uh, no. I think that was a softball, Nancy. No, that's unbelievable. The, the fact that, see, when, as soon as they banned the word climate change, you, as one, should have risen as a people and just gone down there and grabbed him and said, uh, we're taking you. <laughs> and we're going to walk you in, to Georgia. And you, just, you, should have, you should have been put on your shoulders and you walk up the state and get him out of the state. You're in, you're in one of like three or four states where the climate change is so profoundly in your face. It's literally like somebody going, well, there's not an asshole in my face. And the asshole is in your face. No, no, no we're not going to use the word asshole. We're going to call it sugar duster. <laughs> today, uh, the, um, I think it was today, because they've all blended together. And as I said, I can't keep up with this shit. But um, the new head of the EPA... Uh, Scott Pruitt, I think his name is, and he is a, uh, a lawyer, I think, and um, he doesn't believe in, he's not sure about climate uh, change. He doesn't, he doesn't think, and so he's basically, uh, he's going to get people together uh, to do research to see if these gases really have an effect, even though 97% of the world's scientists agree that there is climate change. So we're going to spend some more money in order so that this douchebag can fucking have his own private experiment. So, and so uh, I just want to read something that I thought was apropos to that and the fact that uh, I, I, I think that um, if, I don't mind us being really stupid about things, but when it comes to science, wake the fuck up! And those of you who didn't applaud, what the fuck do you do? <laughs> what are you still working under medieval things? You've got like a, we'll find water today. I've got a dousing rod. <laughs> a few years ago, I noticed reporters saying things like scientists feel that or scientists believe rather than scientists think. I thought it odd at the time, but now I think it's dangerous. Arguing about someone's beliefs and feelings isn't science. Pretty much every scientist I know, and I know a lot of them, want their ideas tested. Sometimes that leads to bitter disappointment, but it's worth it to understand better. I've known scientists who have risked their lives time and again to get the data they need. Polar bears, extreme weather, the ski plane sinking because the ice was thinner than expected, then crunching the numbers they get until they bleed. Meanwhile, Alex Jones gets heartburn and starts ranting about lizard people and climate conspiracy. And he has more weight than those researchers to, he has more weight than those researchers to those in the White House. I expect he does believe harder than the researchers, but that's not the point. Good science is hard. There always has to be room for doubt. That doubt is how we make progress. Have an idea, test the idea, and keep testing it until it breaks and someone thinks of something better then test that. Good work by smart, dedicated people is no guarantee of being right, but it's the best of our ape with delusions of grander species can do. And I will not willingly surrender it to the crazies. It's happened before, and I've always wondered how people could just decide believing is more important than thinking. Apparently, we get the answer to that question. I hope we do.
That's the kind of thing that is just crackerjack funny stuff that has made this show that I do. But I think, I, I would, this is from David who lives in Seattle, Washington. And you know it had to come from Seattle because they're just fucking crazy up there. They are. They're fucking, they're every, God damn it, it's almost socialist. So he, I wouldn't listen to this shit. I wouldn't trust it at all. They were the ones who started Starbucks, those fuckers. <laughs> They've got us all hopped up, so we're believing in this climate change shit. That's what's driven us to madness. I just think it's fucking important. I mean, and I also think it's, you know, I've tried to say it in my act a hundred times, it has no effect. So I thought if I actually read it and somebody had actually thought it out in lucid paragraphs, it might sink into some of those of you out there who've been on the fence about science. God, that he knows people that fucking with polar bears and shit. I would not, I'd, fuck that, I don't care. I would say, I do not care what this test, I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna do a test and polar bears are involved and, and we could save mankind? Well, fuck you, no. I am not going and getting the polar bear urine. I'm not doing it. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is from the New York Post of all places, because usually the New York Post is just psychotic. Uh, President Trump's winter White House may one day be partially engulfed by the ocean. <laughs> Climate scientists predict that his mar a lago property in Palm Beach, Florida will be impacted by sea levels rising more than six feet by the end of the century, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which I guess he'll be closing shortly. <laughs> what do you need to study the ocean for? It's there, just look at it, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Florida experts uh, sent a letter to Trump, who has called climate change a hoax, warning him of the threat to his estate. Many of Florida, Florida's waterfront properties, including yours, they wrote, are vulnerable to even minor increases in sea level because of erosion and storm surge. This is not a distant threat. Climate change is making an impact today. Um, that's one of the things I won't accept when people write in. <laughs> If you don't think climate change is real, don't try to convince me of it. Because you're, and I, I, I hate to use this pejorative term, are fucking nuts. <laughs> it's real. That's it. I know you want to go put blank on the thing, and I don't want to in, and then I say this thing. No. No. 99 or 98% of the world's scientists agree that climate change is real. So, um, you're... What else do you need? Did you have a bad time in science? Did your science teacher make you cry? And so when the scientists say something, you go, <laughs> I mean, it, that shit, it's just got to stop. Because we don't have time for it, you know? And, the, and, the, and a big part of the problem is, a big part of the problem is, is, is that people, you know what, one of the things is people my age uh, in Congress, people who are going to be dead before the climate change thing has a real effect shouldn't be allowed to fucking vote on it or talk about it. Just shut the fuck up. But if I live to be 98, I still get to say shit. <laughs> if we have global warming, why did it snow in Hawaii yesterday? It is why, in part, they changed it to climate change. You also have to realize, just because it gets hotter doesn't prove that, it's, uh, that we have uh, climate change, just because it snows in Hawaii, maybe God just got a little tired of vacationers there. <laughs> maybe God said, I'm gonna show you surfers something, now shut the fuck up. <laughs> when it comes to climate change, I'm not, I'm, I'm done. There's no argument anymore. It's real. It's not a fake news thing. It's a real thing. With scientists in white lab coats figuring it the fuck out. That's just the fucking fact. 
and I'm sick of it. And I kind of want to point out that Hawaii, I, I agree. Yeah, people go, well, God damn it, it was 113 today. That fucking, pro-. no, it doesn't. What proves it is, is a lot of people go, holy fuck, we're fucked. <laughs> and they wear white lab coats. <laughs> and they have to be really smart because they had to pass all these tests. And they're fucking hard, which is why he is not a scientist. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe in global uh, climate change because, and I found this out a while back uh, on a visit to the Weather Channel, Many people, there's a whole slew of Americans who believe that the earth will be, it's, it's 10,000 years, and that will be the time that we're on earth, that humans will be here. It's 10,000 years from beginning to end. And so the end is coming, so why the fuck worry about climate change? That is, that is the truth. That it, no, that's the fucking truth. Because the, the woman would go to farmers and explain to them certain things about how they should deal with, because the climate is changing, and that's what we're talking about. It's this, it's the snow is, is it's the thing that, that there will be insane events that occur. Now, some people will think those insane events is because God himself is watching and is making things just nutty, nutty, nutty. That's what some people will think. Oh my God, there are giant ticks everywhere. Holy fuck. God made those ticks to smoke people. Who knows? Who cares? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> but she did. She would sit there with these farmers and try to get them to do certain things in terms of the, the predictions of the weather. And they'd say, <laughs> no, we're only going to be around 10,000 years. So we don't. And they would dismiss it. They would not even discuss it. So uh, it's important to continue to realize it's just the, it's the fucking facts. It, it's, there's nothing to be argued. If somebody is having that argument, just put your fingers in your ear and go, Ugh. Why do so many people think a global warming is a hoax? Uh, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's that many people, but it's certainly enough that it's irritating. I had people the other night, I was, uh, we were in, I forget where we were in Napa or before Napa, and somebody in the audience, uh, um, he, he couldn't get over the fact that, uh, you know, I basically said like 98% of the world's scientists agree on this. And, everything, and this guy in the orbit, that's not true, it's not true at all. And they went nuts. I just don't believe it's up for an argument anymore. It's real. Climate change is real. It's not, it's not something to be discussed. It's the reality. Okay? That's the deal. Even, even, it, and what's amazing to me is these are the people who keep saying, you know, well, we gotta, we're, you know, we gotta, we're, we've got $16 trillion in debt, and what about the children? What about the children? So meanwhile, you're gonna say, you're gonna basically try to get that money back and leave an environment for them that's a fucking cesspool. It's, it makes no sense at all. It's a Chinese, the Chinese came up with it. Fucking, are you serious? How do you even fucking, the, the, we live in what is called a post-truth era, is what they're saying. Yeah, that's, well, that's what they're fucking saying! <laughs> Unbelievable. That's what they say. And in essence, in part, we are, because people read shit. There's that whole group of people, and it doesn't, it's the, the, the thought that if you, if you believe in it, then, it, that, that that's more important than whether it's real or not. That if you believe in it, then it's real for you. Well, that's really nice if you're on fucking LSD! <laughs> we have got to get, if we don't agree on what reality is anymore, this ball game, fuck, make America great again, make America fucking focus! agree on what's real. That's it. It's fucking 65 miles an hour, 60 on a highway, 55, 35. What do you, you feel it should be? It really isn't that because I read in a goddamn fucking, I read in Breitbart.fartlick that all of a sudden it's really 45 so I can go as fast as I want. It's the same fucking thing. They're just certain things. They're real things. It's real. We are, we are flushing, I've been fucking, I've been doing this since I was in fucking 
Nine years old, I was told it was, that the fucking environment was moving into the shitter. <laughs> okay, and my parents told me, Yo, you think my parents are liars? <laughs> That's why we came up with Earth Day. That's what Earth Day was all about. Not selling Birkenstocks and that other fucking shit, gimp or whatever the fuck, handicrafts or whatever you want to call it. No! It's about celebrating the Earth and the fact that you had to basically, we've got to tend to it. That's what the goddamn Bible says. That's what it says in our part. I think you Christians, <laughs> I think you Christians didn't get enough of that in your text. I'm sick of it. That people come down. No, that's not it. I mean, the head of the EPA, the new head, this guy from uh, from Oklahoma, the Attorney General there, is uh, has basically filed suit against the EPA on numerous occasions, and he doesn't believe that uh, that there's uh, climate change. He doesn't believe in that. Uh, how, 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 how do you pick somebody to head the EPA who doesn't believe in climate change? I mean, that's got to be a given. You can't have somebody come in, well, no, it's not really real. And he's a businessman. That's somebody I want. I want a businessman in charge of EPA. I need a fucking scientist. I need somebody in a white lab coat who's done experiments. <laughs> Couldn't you come up with a fake scientist? Huh? Come up with a scientist who doesn't agree with this shit. Then at least it would be somewhat tolerable, as opposed to a guy who's in Oklahoma. Son of a bitch. Never even seen water. Never seen water! <laughs> Jeff uh, says Aaron Janeig, the executive director of the Rhode Island Sierra Club, doesn't believe we should act on climate change. Well, that really makes for a hell of a Sierra Club. <laughs> You're going to certainly want to send some money to them. That's really right on top of that shit. How is that fucking possible? What the, what the fuck? Did, did, does he know that you live near water? Anything? Any concept? How the fuck can you be the head of... Who the fuck picked him? How liquored up would you have to be to be, oh boy, this guy will be great. I'd like to hear about why Lewis Black rants. Because there's a guy who's the head of the Sierra Club who doesn't believe in climate change. We just got a couple left. I'll read them. One, one, last night I was at uh, Trestles and uh, I, I had um, I was watching some uh, jams going on. There, were, there was a musical jam there, and uh, just then I wanted to keep drinking, so it was. Uh, but this, I asked this. I said, uh, you know, submit something, and he he did. And this is from Dr. Shank, and it's 30 fucking years ago. A NASA a climate scientist testified in the godforsaken U.S. Senate. The year 1988, the scientist James Hansen. Don't know who he is, you scientifically illiterate bastards? Google him. It's kind of a big fucking deal. He was director of NASA's Institute for Space Studies. Not just some Joe fucking schmo. And this was all happening during a serious fucking heat wave. Mother Earth was holding up every possible fucking mirror to our shitty ass gas guzzling behavior. Droughts, fires, heat waves, all that shit. And Hansen's there testifying in Congress, warning senators about climate change. And that was 30 fucking years ago. If we'd had our shit together back then, we might have been able to avoid some of this extreme weather shit. But did we? Fuck no. We doubled down on our shitty ass behavior because why not fuck over the only home we'll ever know? You know, even animals don't shit where they sleep, but apparently we, we didn't get the fucking memo. Fast forward to 20 fucking 18, we've got a White House that doesn't give a flying fuck about science and is doing everything in its power to get us all killed and as soon as it possibly, and, and as soon as it possibly fucking can. It's like some new fucked up state-sponsored terrorism shit. Dirty fucking frack gas that can light your water on fire and contaminate the fuck out of your wells. Fuck yeah, frack the fuck out of it. Dirty fucking oil that'll spill into your seas and pollute the shit out of your air. Fuck, let's drill more of it. Dirty fucking coal that'll kill more and more Americans with some black lung shit. 
Eh, fuck yes, it'll make America great again. All of us Americans, meanwhile, get fucked in the process. Hurricanes, heat waves, droughts, wildfires, you know, bomb boat, whatever the fuck, bomb fuck thing that occurred again today, are becoming as common as White House resignations. Even Asheville, North Carolina, hit its two hottest fucking years on record in 2016 and 2017. Congratulations, you can thank President Fuckface for that. <laughs> And it's only going to get worse. If we don't seriously lower our emissions before the end of Trump's term, we're going to be seriously fucked by global warming. Three years, that's it. And that's the timeline from the scientists, not some made-up comedian-type shit. So either we dump Trump and live or shut up and die. Those are our choices. Get ready to rumble, motherfuckers. And um, as regard our discussion of global warming tonight, I'm so fucking fed up with the sheer stupidity that I hear daily from our climate denier friends. Their ignorance about the global problem of climate change is driving me further and further to having a stroke at the age of 21. <laughs> They're right about one thing, the climate has always changed, but newsflash, the last time the temperatures rose at the rate they are now, humanity was yet to exist. In there was a fucking lot of carbon in the air. I personally invite anyone who thinks carbon is not harmful to give a blowjob to the exhaust pipe on their Ford pickup truck. Thank you, Albany. Take care. Good night.